best place for a selfie in Australia? Oh, the best one is the Quokka selfie as done by Roger Federer and you can only do it on this planet on Rottenest Island in, in the Western Australia. Rainforest or Outback? The Outback? Uh, because it just makes you feel how insignificant you are as compared to the whole world. Skydiving or snorkeling? Uh, skydiving, that's one on my bucket list. Kuana or kangaroo? Kangaroo because you keep hopping forward, you never take a step back. A must-try accommodation experience? The one that I would really want to do is the sleep reef experience, where you sleep on one of the pontoons of the Great Barrier Reef under a canopy of stars. Any hilarious misconception you have heard about Australia? Well, uh, I once heard that there are a lot of deadly snakes in Australia and a lot of people die because of, you know, snake bites, but nothing that I've ever encountered or even heard that there's even been a single death because of that. Your personal favourite dining places in Australia? The Golden Century. Uh, you have Golden Century in Sydney, which, which is now called the XO by Pippi's. Uh, there's a second one which is called as uh, Malaya, which is a Malaysian restaurant on Darling Harbour. And there's another one called Mamak, which is also incidentally a Malaysian restaurant because I'm a fan of Asian food. How to look for unique travel experiences in Australia? There's a new collective called the Signature Experiences of Australia. It depends on your passion point, whether you love lodges, whether you love uh, wine, whether you're into culture, personal experiences, or fishing expeditions, or golf courses for that matter. I guess you can pick whatever uh, suits your passion point. A destination or an experience which deserves to be on the travel list. Okay. Uh, a visit to the spiritual capital of Australia uh, and experiencing the field of light where you have solar illuminated glass stems which are in the middle of a desert overlooking the majestic Uluru. Your next Aussie bucket list experience? I think that's on my list. It's an event called as the Staircase to the Moon. So every year between March and October, you actually see the sun emerging out of the ocean. And uh, you have at least two to three days every month that you could participate in this experience. So Staircase to the Moon in Broome is the next one on my bucket list. One Aussie slang you live by? No workers, which means no worries because Australians are extremely carefree, down to earth and you know, it'll happen someday. They're quite positive about life, so no workers and no worries.